Evolutionary biologists think of evolution as kind of a hill climbing or mountain climbing process. That organisms are getting more and more fit as mutations occur that give them a benefit and advantage over their competitors. There's this huge diversity of forms that you find out in nature. But we tend to assume that inside experimental systems that things will adapt for a while and then they're just going to stop. What we've largely found is that even after tens of thousands of generations, they're still improving at a rate that it doesn't look like they're reaching an endpoint. They're just going to keep going forever. Eventually, things will have to slow down. Even after 25 years, you are so far from the peak of the mountain that you're not really slowing down yet. You still have a huge way to climb. It demonstrates that evolution is this incredibly open-ended process. This is potentially very important for our assumptions about how things are going to respond to global climate change. We assume that a lot of things out in nature are sitting at or very near the tops of fitness peaks, and this shows that maybe that's not a reasonable assumption. Maybe things out there haven't reached their own peaks yet, and so they still have a lot of room for potential improvement even without the environment changing. And then as the environment change is added onto that, there's still a whole new realm for them to evolve into. My job basically was to take all of this information and synthesize it into a, a, a theory that predicts the, the, these fitness trajectories that Mike has been measuring. So it was very exciting to do this kind of work and have it, and have it work out in such a, a really elegantly simple way.